Well, we're going to go through the two-year-old list. We've got to the point of the year where a lot of the two-year-olds are done racing. The most interesting ones are still racing right now. Uh, and we have some horses that are coming back soon also. So a lot going on. Um, uh, where are we starting here? Why is it on this? Age. There we go. We will start with Affection. Affection uh, out in the field. She'll be out for a bit. We'll bring her back around December 1st, probably. We'll bring her back in. Alibaba. Uh, she should be racing this weekend. I never checked to see if she was. I'll have to check with uh, Jim. I know she was sick. A little bit sick both of her last two starts. So he's looking to clean her up. Uh, clean her up and have her 100% healthy as she races. A little frustrating, I'm sure, for him. I know it can be uh, for us also. So, um, uh, hopefully gets her cleaned up and gets her racing soon because it gets to a point now she's short. Now you got to train her up hard and it's a, it's a vicious cycle. So, hopefully you can get her going uh, in the right direction. Um, Arson, is, uh, Arson is racing in Corbin and he'll be racing there um, Tuesday. No, Sunday. He races this Sunday is when his elimination is. So I'll have to be back for that. Uh, Blanton's Blue is uh, out in the field right now. He'll come back in. All these Colts and Phillies will come back in somewhere between November 1st and December 15th. The, obviously, the, if they just finished racing, it'll be closer to December 15th if they finished a while ago. Of course, like uh, Paycheck Princess, uh, Jacob has said, you know, she's ready to come back in now. He'll let us know if the horses are getting a little obese or look like uh, holiday's over. He'll let us know what he did with Prince, uh, Paycheck Princess. But, you know, for the most part, try to get them a good six to eight weeks out in the field. Um, Born to Dance just went out. So, again, you're probably somewhere that first week of December with this guy. Did not know is jogging now, getting ready to start training in Ontario. Uh, don't talk about Bruno is literally just going out to the field, so he's not coming back till December 15th for sure. Drebin will come back in middle part of November, I think I'll bring Drebin back in. Uh, Easy in the Turns is actually trained in 214, so she's getting really close to the races. This is a filly we had high hopes for, and then kind of backed off with her, turned her out in the field and brought her back in now. So Dominic said she trained well the other day. A horse that surprised me, Harry Poulton, had told me he loves electric line. So maybe the horse just needed some time off, needed some time to relax, because uh, Harry doesn't throw around compliments on horses that are coming back at two until they really show him something. And I know he said that he really liked electric line, so that is encouraging news. Flashfly out in the field. She'll be out till December 1st or thereabouts. George of the Jungle, he'll be coming back in likely the middle of November. This guy, he didn't get as much time in the field. He had time off, time in the pool, time with light jogging. So he was away from the track for a while. And when it comes to George, he got really, really big. We'll probably bring him back November 15th. Great bet will be out till the first part of December for sure. Gypsy Hill, same thing, first part of December for this guy. I'm fancy like she races tonight, so she'll get to the middle of December likely before we bring her back in insider trading first part of December for her. International Spy is jogging now in Ontario. We'll see if he stays there. If he comes back over here, we may move some horses around in, when it comes to... Uh, one, our workforce in either place, and two, uh, how close the horse is to racing, where he's going to race. Now, International Spy is a Pennsylvania sire. Trotter, so is there a place for Ontario, or should he start him? Start, will we start him up here in Pennsylvania? We'll see. He's not even close to being ready yet, but he is back in and back going. Now, Jayport Beach Boy just went out, so it'll be the first part of December for him. Lonely Lakewood, same type of thing with this guy. Lovers play. That is a great topic. I cannot wait to see this filly. I was going to actually ask Lauren. Can you ask her if she's got an update on, on Lover's Club? Oh, Enos. Oh, that's right. Enos has her. She's literally out at an Amish farm, uh, probably knee high in grass right now, and hopefully she's having a good time. I was going to ask Enos how she's coming along. I'll, I'll likely bring her back in first part of December, November, something like that. I'll bring her back in at some point. Uh, Mick Paisley will be out until probably the middle of December. She did have that injury we were working on, and then we turned her out in the field. Is she on the field now? She's still in the stall. She's still in the stall? Yeah. So she'll probably couple go out. A couple more weeks, I think. A couple more weeks? So she'll go out in a couple of weeks and be out till the middle of December. Um, somebody asked me the other day. I think I said she was already turned out. Whoever that was, I apologize. I was... Uh, I made a mistake. Um... 
Mel Gibswan, everybody asks, what happened? Why did he run? He's a two-year-old. He made a break. He never made one for us. He never really made one training down. But um, I, Ronnie was at the sale, and I didn't ask him about the horse. But Adam Rucker is usually good about that. You know, the driver said this, or the driver said that, or this is what happened. Nobody really said what has taken place with him. Um, so I'm not sure. We'll see how he is. Uh, we'll see how he is next time. Memory and Imagination is going to race in Corbin next week. Excited about this guy's uh, last two races of the year. It should be a lot of fun. Militants out in the field. He'll be back first part of December. Mounds for all. Starting to put it all together now. Sometimes when the mental uh, meets up with the physical, it does take time. Right? This is a horse that really didn't, didn't look like he wanted to be a nice horse. Or he was doing stupid things. or not putting out the way we wanted. But sometimes it just takes time. And you can't hide from it all the time. He certainly raced good. He could have been an ordinary fourth the other day. Instead, he was a pretty good second. Pretty impressed. Impressed with Mounds for All. No chance in Hill. He is going into the field for three weeks. I think he was in this week. Paycheck Princess is coming in with the next load, um, with the next load of horses. What's that? Yeah, she could probably go to Ontario. You're right. That could be a good place for her. Um, pickpocket. Uh, unbelievable. The way the horse raced his last two starts. That win in... Uh, that win a week ago kind of slipped past my radar. I had so much on the go. But the other one the other day, the International Stallion, did a tremendous victory for him. I was really excited and proud of all the work that everybody put in him. Kathy and Eric did a great job. And everybody that's taken care of pickpocket from the start. The horse has just been amazing. Um... Prince Charmer finishes off his season tonight. He's had a pretty good year. Mark my words. I told everybody he is going to come back a good three-year-old. I could be wrong, but we'll see. I am telling you right now, I believe Prince Charmer is going to be a good three-year-old. Pull the shoes. I hope she's a good three-year-old. I love this filly. And lots of time off for her. December 15th, I'll probably bring her in. I want lots of time given to her. Um, punch the clock. Going to be back jogging full schedule now from on Monday as she was just in the aqua treadmill all week. I didn't want to take any chances when Amy and I weren't there. Uh, and not to say that everybody wouldn't have done a great job, they would have. I just didn't want to take any chances. So we'll be back jogging here. Maybe jog her tomorrow. Might even jog her tomorrow. That's what we might do. Uh, Purple People Eater ended her season good. She's a good filly. Um, really happy with Purple People Eater. And she'll come back in first part of December. Uh, ready for landing is in his jogging. We'll be training soon. I'm probably going to bring him over to Ohio to finish him off though. Um, so we'll see. We'll do a little a little prisoner swap at some point. Move some over, bring some back over. This guy will be on the front end of that of that wave. Uh, really don't care. We'll be out until December 1st, I think. We'll bring her back in. Rito's Lady is getting close. If the other filly's been in 14, Rito's Lady can't be too far behind. I know she's going to two trips. Yeah, so she's probably been in 210. She's getting really, really close. Um, Royal Emeralds will stay out till December 1st. That Philly Seasons of Love is back in now jogging. Might have even started training. Don't quote me on that. What's wrong? Well, call, green, call Big D's right now. Tell them to put it on the order. They don't close till 5. Um... So Seasons of Love is back jogging now. It'll be training soon. Sedona Hill will be out till December 1st. Sunset Acres Girl just capped a tremendous year. Now we're a little greedy. You say, ah, oh, she beat the final. She beat the time. She's never missed the top three. She's raced great her entire life. She's put together like, I don't know, $60,000 or something. She's been a, the old dinosaur. has been a pretty good filly for us. So Sunset Acres Girl is on her way back to Northfield. And then she'll be turned out in Pennsylvania. Uh, and, and to be quite frank, this filly... I'm going to look at when her three-year-old stake races start. She will come in three and a half months before then, and I don't care if she's out five months. There's no point in getting her ready uh, before then. So we're going to, it'll all be calendar work with uh, Sunset Anchors. Girl. Uh, Sweeney capped off a great, yeah, he finished seventh. He's beat two lengths. Horse raced awesome. He just continues to race good. He's done now for the year, though, and he'll come back in December 1st. Um, third and six. Uh, back jogging now in Ontario. Looks good. Looks good. Third and six. Time is on my side. I'm probably going to bring him back into November, middle of November. He's only getting four or five weeks off. I'm not giving him four months just to go out and get fat and decide if he really likes it more than he likes racing. I, I'm going to bring him back and get him back going. Um, we're in October. Oh, yeah. First part of November, you might see him back in and going with us. Um, Vaccaro Blue Chip. 
Uh, I love this horse. I think he's going to have a tremendous three-year-old season. Uh, very well-bred Spider Blue Chips brother. He's been handy as hell all year. I think as he grows up and, and turns into a more fluid, comfortable, strong, sound trotter, I think we're going to have a really nice horse on our hands. Um, Victory Blue Chips, same type of thing with him. We're going to give him lots of time off, bring him back. I want no excuses why you're not a nice horse. You are or you aren't. And he'll likely tell us early on in his sophomore season. Watch your mouth is going to get lots of time to grow up also. He's going to go out probably till the middle of December. And widespread panic will likely bring him back the middle of November and get him started back up. So with that, that's all your two-year-olds. You should be up to date. Every year, every week I seem to miss something or someone. I don't think I missed anybody. Hope I didn't miss it. I missed Hallie in the clouds. I'm sure I oh, jumped yeah, over her. You did. Hallie in the clouds is back training now. And looking good so my apologies to my partners and Hallie in the clouds I missed her last week I think too I don't know what it is about that name it's just I just jump over it anyway uh, that is everybody I believe now all the two-year-olds three-year-olds four-year-olds all your updates we with her baby yeah we did in the clouds was, was that's the path of totality so for those of you wondering we were the underbidders on path of totality's brother by father Patrick I opted for the, the Father Patrick that we had got, the Westland Quest one. We didn't really need a Colt. I was bidding on him, I just let him go for $18,000. So that is why we didn't get the Colt, for no other reason than that. But other than that, we've had a, a great week, a great sale, a great season. Uh, things are looking good at the stable. So with that, I will talk to you all soon. Hope you have a wonderful uh, weekend. Hope you have a wonderful Easter weekend. Easter. <laughs> no. Thanksgiving weekend. See, we're in the horse racing business where we don't get weekend. We don't get long weekends. We have to, the normal people in, in society. What's the weekend this week? Thanksgiving. Thank you. It's Thanksgiving weekend. Easter is in the spring. My apologies. Um, hope you have a wonderful long weekend. I'll talk to you all very soon. Take care.